<laughs> this is my first time running a Zoom. Okay, yeah, yeah. I always have that. I, 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 there's always somebody else sending one, right? Yes, exactly. Right. So here we are. Okay. <laughs> How are you feeling about this? Um, okay, I'm like I said, I'm not. Uh, you know, I was never a fan. I was never a fan of the phone anyway. Even like ever growing up, I never really enjoyed phone conversations. I've never been one of those people who spends a lot of time calling around my friends and everything. So yeah, I guess yeah, I you know, this is better. You have space. you can kind of. Uh, I prefer the in person, but this is okay. <laughs> yes. Yes, very good. Well, thanks for doing this. And I'm so happy that you're on the receiving end. <laughs> so I was, I was like very happy with my draw and I was very, yeah, with the subject. And well, I'm happy, happy to be doing it. Good. Can I ask uh, that behind you? Is that a picture? It is a picture. Yes. Yeah. It's a, it's, right. I, saw it on, I, I think it's funny. It there, uh, have you seen this, this Twitter account of, uh, it, it's, there's one that rates. Oh, okay. They know, but... okay. There's there's one that rates people's backgrounds, and then there's another one that specifically looks at Zoom books in the background, and so oh, okay. you know, like on their shelves. I think it's funny to have. Like, I see that, and I think you are way more organized than that. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. So you know we. We've been instructed to keep the time down, right? So I'm gonna be great. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's be, let's be focused. Uh, yes. Uh, <laughs> and I mean, you know, the, as I said, the real thrill for me is that I get to ask you questions. And, and I'm particularly interested in like asking uh, uh, annoying questions that I have a hard time answering. So I, yeah, <laughs> so I, really, I really hoped you wouldn't say something like that, yeah. <laughs> I thought you were probably pretty good at this. You can delve and find those really tricky ones, but I no, well, might... <laughs> no. I also I imagine like, I mean, I have my own tricky ones, and we'll get to that. But I also like in thinking about you, right? And so you have, you know, you have your snapshot bio. You have the little thing people say about you, and and then you know, one of them is is the mathematics background, right? So. Mm -hmm. And, and then I, I was like, I was thinking about that and because it's, it plays a pivotal role actually with, within Magnum, you know. Yeah, people always uh, ask about it, but it's actually, yeah. I, oh, I mean, no, I, I, no, I read it. So I read an interview on Vice and where you were just like, yeah, no relationship. Which, yeah, you know, I kind of changed my thinking on that a little bit. I kind of, I suppose I'm always developing it a little, I mean, people do always ask and so you kind of think about it and I, I you know, I've often said, well, you have this idea of like, the abstract world and the real world and then right. people are like well which is which so it's actually kind of interesting right so in a way maths is like so you know I still like whatever I, I'm such a long way away from maths these days but it's still there's something in you know there's something in the way of maths is all about looking you know particularly at a certain level right I, so I, I, I went to university I have a maths degree so it's like um you know, you, 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 it becomes very abstract actually, and it becomes, but it's also about looking at the real world and trying to look for patterns and trying to understand the real world through those patterns. Uh -huh. So in a, in a funny way, there's actually quite a similarity with photography or, or the kind of photography, I guess, that many of us are trying to do, which is like, which is also looking at the world and trying to look for patterns and trying to understand them and put those things together. And you know, there's this idea that in maths you have an answer and in, in something like photography you don't, you just put out the questions, mm -hmm. but actually at a certain level maths is like yeah. that too. I mean, right, you get uh -huh. the, the most interesting maths, which I don't know any of anymore. I mean, if you put any of the stuff that I'd done and, you know, in those days in front of me, I would right. just have no clue. But you, you, you know, you get into something that is, it is, I, I like this idea of like looking for patterns and trying to understand what's going on by looking at those patterns. And I think that something of what we do is about that as well. Mm -hmm. Well, that's, so there, look at that. You have a very good answer for it. Uh, <laughs> I mean, where I was, which is great, but where I was going to take it is, I, I, cause I wondered if you compartmentalize your life um, so that like math is over here and photography is over here and gardening is over there. Are you that type of person? Um, am I that kind of person? I guess, I mean, I'm a very 
busy person. Um, and as you know, I've got two okay. small kids, so kind of life is, I mean, never yeah. been so manic. But, um, and I suppose the only way, I'm not naturally a very organized person. So um, I think in order to manage all these things, I, I force myself to be organized. And yeah, you have to set, you have to kind of try and separate things, but there's, I don't do it very well, probably. Um, I think there's a lot of blurred lines and I think, um, photography definitely filters into my world, uh, you know, my home world a lot, for example, and, mm -hmm. you know, all the other things that I love doing. And it, it, you know, if people say, you know, what are you doing? You know, what, what are your hobbies or whatever? You know, you're like, when you're a photographer, it's like, well, <laughs> right. <Yeah. laughs> um, it's photography really. Right. I mean, or mm -hmm. whatever cooking, I guess, or, 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 you know, these other things that we do, but everything, everything mixes together. There's not really a point where you put it down and just say, okay, now I'm not, you know, I'm not, I, I, I'm not the photographer. And I remember doing, for example, um, I remember in, in um, Jeddah when I was working on that work, mm -hmm. um, at some point they're saying, okay, just, you know, stop being the, the photographer, put it down. And I think something that is really important to learn or that I learned in that, in that period was, was also to be not the photographer in, in you know, in, when you're working also to not be the photographer. And, and that's, mm -hmm. that's always quite important. Right. Uh-huh. Um, and you know that I, I you know I, I feel like I've learned to do that a lot more now and and just that it, it's a whole but you know you're taking pictures but you're in a place you know building relationships with people in a certain way that right and that's that's as important and that's that's also being a photographer but you kind of mm -hmm. put it down um, so you, I mean you mentioned the having children and like that a question I'm often asked is you know how do you do parenting and be a photographer and all that? Um, and, and one of, I mean, sort of my stock answer is that's the problem I've never been able to solve. <laughs> I haven't figured it out for sure. And, um, and, and within Mag, you know, Magnum was interesting to enter into that sphere and see all these photographers. And, you know, I, you know, I think it was the, marriages and parenting is different, but it's not always like an amazing track record of success. So, uh, and I don't know, I mean, I just, uh, do you have role models in that area? Or? Gosh, I mean, I mean, I have a pretty good role model in my parents um, who both, uh, they're both pretty uh, sort of busy, frantic people um, and have a good, you know, a, a super good relationship and, and also our family is very close. So okay. that's a really good role model for me, I guess. Uh -huh. um, and, but within photography, do you? I mean, are there... Within photography? I don't know, really. Um, particularly women. I mean, like my old studio manager years ago did this blog post and she um, interviewed a number of mothers who are photographers and it's just, it's so challenging, right? So it is really challenging. And I definitely remember so 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 I have two children now. So so when I had the first one, I remember this feeling of not in a way not wanting to or not wanting to let myself just stop and and just be a mother. So I was I was I was I was worried, right? I was worried I would sort of disappear. Um and I I, I carried on working. I kind of I had some personal projects. I worked on a book and I, I you know did various things and I was I was pretty I mean it was you know it was great there's you know there's both of us we're both photographers and we can juggle it around somehow but then when, when I had the second one I kind of I said no this time I'm not going to do that I'm really going to take the time off and I put a whole chunk of time aside and I I just wanted to be there doing that and I really enjoyed that period and, and it was also because I suppose I was a bit more relaxed or kind of confident with myself to be able to do that um, mm -hmm. But it's, yeah, for sure it's hard. I mean, one of the things I always ask myself now is it's like, what do we, you know, before before we had children, like, what do we do with all that time? Right? And it's like, and you keep thinking to yourself, like, I could have done so much. And now, I mean, right now, obviously in this situation, you know, with Corona, where, you know, anyone who has kids, it's like this, this, you know, there's all this stuff, you know, these conversations, there are all this stuff that's going out online. Everybody's putting their films up to watch for free. And there's all this stuff that I would love to see. And honestly, I just, I I'm not any of it and it's it's yeah so i feel like we've kind of divided into the people who have kids and and they're kind of like tearing their hair out with no time left at all and and people who've like suddenly got loads of time and, and enjoying all these things so yeah 
I mean, sure, the grass is always greener. <laughs> but um, without being, without it getting too personal, um, I mean, I am interested in the in the dual photographer family. <laughs> and, yeah. And I mean, how, like, how do you manage that? Is it? Yeah, that is. I mean, for sure, that's difficult. That's. Um, I mean, because photography is such a solo thing, and it's like. Um, I, you know, people say to us, so, you know, are you, you kind of competitive with each other? And we're like, I'm like, no. And he's like, yes. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> um, but I think we, you know, you have to work at that. I think it's really important. We do, we've done projects together and that's mm -hmm. been really important. And I mean, the biggest project we've done together is, is Fish Farm. So we yeah. set up you know, a gallery and little publishing house and it's, you know, it's a small thing, but it's also felt really important at a certain time to do something that we were doing together. In a way, like it's it's it's, and that's that's in our relationship. But it's also for many of us, it's kind of like Magnum is a bit like that too, right? Because mm -hmm. photography yeah. is really lonely, so you you yeah. make you do stuff together. Have and you met really Trent Park? Uh, but, uh, yeah, I mean, in my early Magnum days, but we haven't seen him oh, around. Okay, there. okay, yeah, because I haven't yeah, seen him. Yeah. So long, yeah. So. Okay. Uh, so question number three. This one's probably not as hard. It's, it's one that I really struggle with and I've been thinking about lately. So for whatever reason, I'm always asked about the relationship between music and photography. No, I somehow had this feeling you were going to ask me about music. Really? Yeah. No, and I hate that question. And I always like, <laughs> I, I, I yeah. kind of swipe it away. And, <laughs> and what's, what's funny is quite recently for a Japanese magazine, whatever, I, I was supposed to ask Stephen Shore one question. And I'd already interviewed him for something else. And so I found out that this early series of his was influenced by bar talk or whatever. And I asked him this question and he just like totally dismissed it, you know, and he, and he like talked about yeah. something else, uh, which was nice for me to just witness him. <laughs> uh, but lately I've been thinking about it more and I've been trying to like find my own answer. And I'm wondering if you have, do you so have I, I mean, I don't, yeah, I don't really have an answer. I, um, I, I think there's something about, um, I mean, I, I love working. I'm, you know, I, I, I don't know that much about music. I like, I like listening to music. I like various different things. I don't think we want to get into that kind of conversation, but I really love what music Thank you though. does. Yeah. <laughs> um, I really love what music does to photography. And my, my brother's a musician actually, and I've worked with him quite a few, few things. Um, um, we, what, what kind of musician is he? He's, well, he's a sort of, uh, classically trained musician, but who does, I mean, like any musician plays in like a ton of different bands. Um, and they're, I mean, all sorts of, you know, from folky to quite experimental. Sure. Sorry, one second. We are recording this. So yeah, sorry. <laughs> 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 yeah. Uh, sorry about that. Yeah. Um, yeah. No worries. Um, so um, yeah. So he's so he's always kind of yeah. He kind of goes across the whole spectrum, which is really interesting. And so I get obviously a lot of my musical influence from him. Who you know from the various things that he does. But he, we've also collaborated a few times, and he put together a piece of music for my work from Stranger, and we made a slideshow with it. And it's a, it's great music. So I made some sound recordings. Um, and him and he works with this um, with this other guy um, Lee who they, they've worked together for a long time and they and they kind of and Lee is actually I mean he, he has a PhD in music where he he's been researching um, the kind of photographic representation of music so he's he's looking at like focus and blur and things like that in music and so it's really it's really interesting working with them we're kind of doing Philip and I are actually doing a collaboration with them at the moment we're just experimenting with things so we throw them some pictures they make some music or they send us some music and we make some pictures and throw it back. And it's really, it's really fun. It's just kind of playing around, but it's, it's really nice. It's a really nice way to play. And it's a nice way to think about photography as well, I think, because, you know, I think, I mean, I've, I'm, I'm someone who's always been obsessed, not with the, the single image, but with the kind of, you yeah. know, the longer, the, the series, the book, the, you know, the kind of story. And it's about kind of getting someone into, an experience of trying to make them feel something, take them along a journey. And music does the same thing. So then putting these things together, working with, with Jules and Lee, as you know, it's we try and do the same thing, but with different senses. And it's a, it's such a such a rewarding experience when it works. It's really, really great. So um, yeah, I kind of 
think of that as as really important and I kind of love it more when you see it with these these pieces of audio you kind of you know in the way that that cinema is so powerful right you go yeah. you go in the, you sit in a dark room and you watch and you kind of you you become totally immersed so with a photography book I find I mean it's you know I love books but I often find you know you, you go to these fairs or you go to bookshops and everything it's you kind of got so many other things coming at you to try and get a find a space where you can kind of immerse people fully in it I and mean, mm -hmm. music is such a great way of doing that and it, it's so complimentary and it's kind of you know the rhythm of a you know the, the rhythm of how we put photographs together is so much in a way you yeah. know there's so many parallels in music of the way you can kind of you build something up and you it's it's sort of you know storytelling has got you know worked in all these different forms you're super pro with this. Look at it. You like knocked all three of these out of the park. <laughs> so just as a point, is, is there- Well, a maybe I can um, um, put that back to you. I'm curious what your, because I somehow had a feeling you were going to ask about music, but I, I and I, I, not specifically about like who you listen to, but I think, yeah, do you, do, does that, do you, do you also like listen to music? Do you have sometimes a, something that you associate with a particular body of work? So something well, you were really listening to at a time when you were making that work? Yeah, so, so so here we go. I get to practice now on answering this. Yeah, uh, yeah exactly. No, because uh, I, I think a, a lot of people think that I do, right? That I'm like driving around listening to music, right? And, and very often, I think that's not true. I'm listening to the news or I'm listening to a, a podcast or whatever. It's more informational. Um, but I did, then I started, I was asked to make a playlist for Aperture during this period. And, and I went through each project and I was like, well, yeah, I really did listen to this kind of music each time, but I didn't, I never make any kind of direct link between those things. Um, and this relates to my compartmentalization question because I am someone who profoundly compartmentalizes me. Okay. And so there's like home and like I have a separate, identity in each one i'm like different people okay How it's, do you not, draw it's not healthy i mean it's uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely not healthy but it's just the way i function um and so like i'm in my studio right now talking to you because i don't do this from my home i just it's like right, right, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, different yeah. lives and you also, I mean, because you've also talked about you don't photograph at home that I much yeah i don't i don't and that's very yeah. related to that issue um and, and I'm, you know, so like, I talked to my therapist about like, okay, can we integrate our, our lives? And, <laughs> you know, it's a little late for me, but, uh, but, I'm but maybe like, it's good. I mean, maybe also there's a sense that we all have different, you know, personas when we're in different spaces, because we probably do that anyway. So maybe if you give, you know, maybe being conscious of it is, is healthy. I don't know. Yeah. It's, some, it's something to think about, but it is think it, for me, it's been interesting, uh, to reflect on this music issue because um, I'm doing this newsletter project now and we kind of have a loose theme each time and I'm working with a writer and she, she suggested the music theme. And that was interesting because I was looking at books about music. I actually don't have that many that like connect on it in a way that I find really successful. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, I think, even though they're related, they function so differently. I don't know. So it's on my but that's, mind. That's like looking at work about music rather than yes, having exactly. music. Rather than having that immersive experience. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah right. which is totally separate. I mean, I have, yeah, for example, I have music that I've been really into at a certain time and then it reminds me. But, it, but it's particularly, I think, connected to driving. I think there's like music that you right. listen to when you're driving and sometimes I put something on and it just takes me back to that that space and I can't stop being like in that project thinking of those pictures that I was driving around with um you know for, you know when and, and even like a lot you know sometime later it just keeps bringing you back even though you know something that I listen to at the moment a lot um keeps taking me back to the work that I was doing um on the border the Mexico border yeah. project and it's like yeah every, every time I hear it I just have this feeling of like driving in those mountains and what so like let's imagine that we could get the rights to that music and we end our video now our conversation <laughs> what, what what is it what is the what is that, that is, um, is a, a, a french musician called um uh, flavien Berger, okay. um and he has this uh, um album contre it's great i love it it's 
very... Okay, so cue music now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then we'll fade out. We can have a tea break. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I think we're good. I think that's our 20 minutes. Are we already 20 minutes? Okay, wow, that was quick. It was really fast, yeah. I know. <laughs> so are we going to get to do this the other way? I get to find some tricky questions uh, for you. Not for me. You're not supposed to ask me questions now, right? It's 20 minutes. What? No, no, it's 20 minutes. Yeah, yeah. No, but I'm hoping that we're going to get a chance. Oh, another time. Kind of, yes. You, but I think you'll like, be paired up with someone else. I oh, think. okay. Okay. So I can find some tricky questions for someone else. Who would okay. you like to ask tricky questions to? Who would I like to? I, you know what? I think I like the lottery part because the word, I, I hate this, this like w having to choose, you know? Yeah, I, mean, I, uh, yeah. I, I always find having to choose things very difficult. Like, I'm glad that you didn't ask me, like, what's your favorite, you know, what's the, like, you know, the, the thing that's moved you the most, the, and I, oh, yeah. I, I would get stuck and I'm like, oh, well, I don't know, it could be this, it could be this, and I would be, yeah. I would really, yeah. So um, hopefully yeah. they'll uh, allocate me. <laughs> well, it was a pleasure talking. And, Likewise. Uh, virtual hug. Like, you are definitely a better Buddhist than me. <laughs> <laughs> well, so the, the, yeah, and the thing with this hat is that um, I would, I lost my really good neutral hat Okay. And the one that's around now, and so, but I feel so. But I thought it's backwards, isn't it backwards? The right. Well, not for me right now. Maybe they flip it. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, yeah. Thanks. Nice chatting. All right. Chatting. Okay. Bye. Let's see. Oh, stop recording. Hello, hello, everyone. Here we go again. Thanks to Alec and Olivia for the last conversation. This photographer will ask the questions. Tim Goldberg. And this photographer will answer. Moises Samang. See you soon.